and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Simic Flash. Uh, this is going to be in Historic that we are, we're going to be playing this one. Um, we're also going to be playing this in Best of One. I have the full deck list here um, for if you want to play uh, Best of Three. I got a you know full sideboard in here also if you want want to be playing some Best of Three in Historic. Um, but the uh, donation deck here was was just for a best of one, and so that's what we have it uh, tuned towards. Tuned it towards. Um, in best of three, I think, or, yeah, I would probably take out an ether gust, like move an ether gust to the sideboard, and um, move a negate to the main deck. I think, um, I think I would do that for for best of three. But with best of one, I'm expecting more aggro. Uh, especially like Gruul. I think that Gruul is going to be the number one deck that we play against. And so I want these extra Aether Gusts in the main deck because of that. But um, Historic gives us some good upgrades here with the Simic Flash deck. You can see this is basically standard. Um, but uh, we get first we get uh, Hinterland Harbor. So it helps out our mana base a ton. So yeah, we're not playing any Fabled Passages. Uh, we still have three Temples. But uh, yeah, we get Hinterland Harbor as well. So that's that's a big upgrade. Um, and then I'm also going to be playing Land War Elf instead of Paradise Druid. I just like that it costs one instead of two. And for the most part, when you're adding mana with Paradise Druid, you kind of need that extra green source. Because we have 20 uh, blue sources. Which, you know, 20 blue sources is, is still pretty good. Um, so I want I want to just play some Land War Elves to help speed us up. Uh, we do have the potential, even though it's not going to happen all that often. But we do have the potential to have turn three Nyssa um, with this. And uh, let's see. Uh, besides that, we get Dive Down to protect Nightpack Ambusher. I'm just going with one um, just to have it in here. I, I don't know. Like, it's the, that's the main thing is to protect Nightpack Ambusher. I don't know, like, how good it's going to be if it turns out that we should probably have more. But I think that Spell Pierce is pretty awesome. So I'm pretty excited to play with Spell Pierce. I think you're basically always going to be able to counter something with this. Uh, for the most part, until until late game, um, but yeah, counter counter something unless they pay a non-creature spell unless they pay two, and then we also get essence scatter that counters regular creature spells. It's a hard counter spell, so we don't really have to play quench. Which quench has always been like my least favorite card in this kind of deck. We just get better interaction. Sideboard, you can tell like basically, um, uh, besides gruel, um, I'm, I'm expecting a lot of esper. Just in in uh, in historic in general, so you can see like we have all these mystical disputes for the Esper matchup and another spell pierce, another negate. Uh, Lovestruck Beast is going to be like for for Gruul or for Mono Red, like that kind of stuff. You get that in here. Um, not not having any Ceratops, which would mostly be for uh, for other like Mono Blue type decks, because Esper can deal with Ceratops pretty easily, even though they can't counter it. They'll they'll have plenty of Noxious Grasp in their deck. Um, an extra Hydroid Crisis for the control decks, just to have another threat to draw cards. And then I think I would want to try to search for Ascanta in the sideboard in that Esper matchup. Because we're bringing in all these spells, like with Disputes and Negate and Spell Pierce and everything like that, it's just a cheap threat that you can play on turn two, get it, you know, or just, you know, like, you know, turn three, play it and hold up other counter magic, like that kind of stuff. Just get it in play and try to counter everything and, you know, eventually flip it and just go find more counter spells. You can't grab Ambusher, Frilled Mystic, or Krasis with it, but you know you'd be able to grab Nissa and just more counter spells. I think that'd be a, a pretty cool little thing to try. All right, um, yeah, there's no real cr creature from Historic that like creature with Flash that's not in Standard that you really want, um, like a Flash creature from these sets. Looks like. Like there's not too much. I mean, there's Trickster. I thought about Trickster, but um, that's that's like really like the best thing. See, Flash was not was not a, a big keyword during those. It's it's definitely a, a newer thing. Um, just just recently. All right, but anyway, we're gonna like I said, we're gonna be playing in best of one. That's what the the donation deck was about. So let's go to, uh, let's see. So we have to just so the way to play best of one right now for historic until tomorrow until like 16 hours from now. In like 16 hours, they're going to have events. Like they're going to have historic event and then um, traditional historic also. They'll have like those events. But for now, to play best of one, you go to the play queue. And we're going to choose all. 
And then whenever I choose all, I guess it still has standard first. Got to go all the way down here. All right, there we go. Simic Flash. Hey, Nuga Chris. Um, no, I, I didn't Vertilux. Okay, turn three, Ambusher. Could maybe go like turn four to have Spell Pierce to try to protect Ambusher too. <clears throat> we'll just kind of play it by ear. Yeah, I missed Teamer Kiora. It is currently uploading to the YouTubes. I wonder if I shock in for Spell Pierce. Ah. I guess I don't have to wonder anymore. They just go like island thought erasure. Yep, being uploaded to YouTube now. Well, their hand is pretty good. <clears throat> I got Tap Land City over there. Could have Chupacabra, which I don't get to spell Pierce, but I would be able to dive down. Yeah, absolutely, Skin. Absolutely. And, yeah, absolutely. Um, I'll still play Donation Dex if you don't have Theros cards in it. And, um... If you want me to add Theros cards to to your deck, also, you know, like, remember, you can do that with donation decks too. You know, if you want me to switch stuff, you know, like if you're like, this is the list, but can you update this with Theros? I can do that too. Cause I'll have the all the Theros cards. Yeah, that was a really good hand. <clears throat> Unfortunately, we kind of wasted that, you know, like good like spell pierces and dive downs and stuff to protect ambush, or we kind of wasted it on a on a matchup where my opponent didn't have any interaction. Looking for a match. Should I cancel and then rejoin? I don't really usually have like a minute, 15 seconds. Oh, there we go. Moose. Moose. Hmm. Should probably mulligan. I mean, if they are a green or a red deck, this hand's like pretty nice. You know, it slows them down quite a bit. But if they're not, we just lose. It's 
too risky. We're down to six. Oh, um... Uh, they are definitely a green red deck. Wish I would have kept the last hand. Why turn in the castle instead of the basic island when you have breeding pool? I guess there's no real good reason to. Just I'm I'm not going to be activating that castle, but I mean I guess it it just is an upgrade over the basic island. Hmm. All right. Well, looks like I'm dead. Wish I would have kept the previous hand. Oh, I, I should have... I should grow spiral in response because maybe I hit spell pierce. I kind of want to, like, hold up strength, though, and make them scared to play something. That's... I want them scared to play something. That's what I was thinking. Wow, so they, they really played nothing. So we're, we, we're back at having a chance again. We went from, I thought for sure we were going to lose, but they didn't have a single dino to play. Maybe they're sitting with a bunch of rotting regisaurs and green and red lands. Atale. Could attack with Frilled Mystic, but I think it may be better to hold it back. But we're going to need to out-tempo our opponents. Like, that damage is definitely valuable. Naya Dinos. <sighs> Clarion? Whoa. My plan was to play Ambush or Dive Down. We just didn't need to do that. Um, through this land, we are all connected. The land shall conquer you. All right, we'll see what they get to do here. They could probably have a pretty crazy turn with Frenzy. 
that is a May ability. If they if they really like the top card of their library, they could choose not to. Uh, they are going to be doing that. Yeah, one mana ranging raptors that also goes and puts a land into play. That's pretty good. Uh, yeah, I'm just I'm just kind of worried about the. Yeah, I could have gone fake counter spell by doing the blue green land, but I'm kind of worried about I was kind of worried about that blue green land dying. <clears throat> I'd rather have this forest to be a blocker. If I didn't block the Marauding Raptor, then they couldn't play the Ceratops. Hmm. Oh, why am I playing that? I forgot about Ambusher Trigger. Yeah, I mean, ambush or trigger, I just shouldn't play that. They had the mana to activate Ceratops to give it reach to be able to block Borrower. Well, then putting something into their hand while also having Experimental Frenzy in play isn't something I'm super worried about. Right now, I mean, I guess it's just Nissa, um, Nissa ult is what I'm going for. Swordtooth. Sorted school. Crisis. Can I have you back now, Crisis? You never know, I tried. The land shall conquer you. Guess I'm one point away from lethal. If I would just attack out. They would have to block with everything. So Marauding Raptor, Ranging Raptors, and Huntmaster would all die.
Is that worth it? Yeah, so they, they can't, cannot block Borrower. If I attack with everything else, they have to block every three power creature. Or, like, all these, they have to leave the land war off, get, go through also. So I assume this blocks, like, Frilled Mystic, which means they're chumping. Or maybe they just kill Ambusher, or try to kill Ambusher. And they're still chumping across the board. Sounds like that's worth it. Oh no, I didn't attack with the land war elf. So I can play Dive Down to save the land. But if I don't play Dive Down to save the land, I get a 3-3 anyway. So I get a 3-3 either way. Um, the land's more valuable with the Nissa ult. But I'm basically discarding this could be valuable Dive Down in my hand just to trade one 3-3 for, an for another 3-3. Gonna put them down to one. Just sad. That's sweet. What's up, Johnny Pop Pie? Well. Whenever it deals combat damage to a player. Do not assume I am fragile. Let's keep those. Well, that was still a pretty sweet turn that my opponent just had. Yeah. Doesn't matter because we had Nissa, but that was still a pretty sweet turn. <laughs> anyway, thank you so much there, Johnny. Maybe they joined with the wrong deck. I've done that before. My hand looked pretty awesome. Obviously, I'm not counting that as a win. We didn't play. Don't love this hand, but we're on the play. Flash deck always likes being on the play. That's big time countering that search risk, Kanta. This is a good hand for Krasis. Uh, 
Ooh, they did not have Teferi talk crisis. Boom. Make a 1-1. One -one. Okay. Go, Barbar, go. Man, Spell Pierce is so good. Wow, Spell Pierce is so good. Just one mana. Still is going to have my other two counter spells that turn. We got to counter a search for us Kanta and a settle the wreckage. There with that spell pierce. Those spell, the card's so good. No, Lock, Lockmere Serpent is like even if Lockmere Serpent was blue green, I, I don't don't think I'd be playing it in the deck. It's just just really expensive. I, I wouldn't splash black for for a serpent. Um, I did play a Demir control deck that had Serpent in it before, which I could look for. I guess it was a Grixis deck. Here you go. Temple of Triumph. Could be Jeskai Fires, or just a Jeskai Control deck. Could also be a Feather deck. Which is a feather deck. I got some scatters. It looks like it's a feather deck. Well, we did not get the blue mana, so we don't have the perfects, but... We're one card short. Pretty greedy play. Wish I had another blue mana though. Thank you. A little late, but we'll take it. Yeah, but I guess that that could help as like the the type of deck you could have. You could put Lockmare Serpent in, though JJ. Maybe that helps with that. All right. 
So trying to race here. Um It's going to be tough for me to pull off this spell pierce now. At this point in the game. Yep. Well, I want Krasis to be larger than a um, larger than a four four. Good. It's right at the top. That's not good. Okay. Just gonna win the race. Grace is too big. All right, Higo. Yeah, have a great night. And I'll see you tomorrow for some Pharos action. All right, but Simic Flash is looking good and historic. You know, getting the uh, um, the spell pierces and everything. Not really. No, I'm. I'm not Sir James. Um, no, I'm not interested in Pioneer because I just, you know, I'm just streaming Arena every day, and Pioneer is not on Arena. When Pioneer does finally make it to Arena, then I'll be interested in it. But I'm sure it's a cool format. You know, kind of like Modern. I'm sure it's, you know, like Modern's a cool format. Legacy's a cool format. But um, no, I'm just not too interested in playing Magic Online. <laughs> Yeah, it is late in Denmark over there. Mono red. Mono red means we're dead. So McFlash is the kind of deck that doesn't care about other cards in the meta or the format. I wouldn't say that because you have to you have to pick, you know, like we have Ether Gust here. You have to pick like your right interaction to have, you know, like and like the right numbers, you know, like what do you, you know, between Ether Gust when you have all the cards like Spell Pierce, Negate, um, Essence Scatter, all sorts of different cards like that, um, you know. But then you know you could have Quench. <clears throat> There's just all sorts of different, you know, counter spells that are all 
Um, they're all situational. That's the word I'm looking for. They're all a little situational, and so you need to have like the right ones for for the metagame that you want. Bell Pierce. So I think we're gonna draw. I think we're gonna be able to make an eight-eight crisis there. Man, it's like you know, multiple times that we just like spell Pierce something in in the mid game, and the opponent just immediately concedes. <laughs> spell Pierce just getting him. Yeah, I, I didn't act. I didn't ask for that for its Nox. I didn't. I didn't want to do that. All right, so we're five and zero. Oh. Um, we are just in like you know the regular play queue because that's the one place to play best of one. But still, the Simic Flash deck looks really good. Yeah, we have we have two other you know two more we have two brews after this with Esper Affinity and Soul Tide Treachery. But yeah, we got this donation deck to play first, but it's looks really powerful. All right, good hand. Just, you know, grow spiral into this stuff, turn three. Got to draw another green source. This could be tough. Vampires. Oh, no, they got the Legion's Landing. Got that down. Oh, this could also just be Mono White. Okay, yeah, it's just mono white. There's the green land. That was a good green land, too. Having Hintel and Harbor really helps. Orzov. It's going to be tough to race Angel of Vitality and everything. It's going to be tough to race. They can just keep on making 1-1s one and everything. I think I think this Angel of Vitality is may kill me. We need a bounce spell stat. It's not a bounce spell. It's not a bounce spell. Bounce spell or crisis. Basically, borrow, borrower or crisis. One of those two. Something you don't see a ton of in historic, um, you know, early large flyers, flying creatures. <clears throat> this is just getting down another blocker. Wow, 
that's gonna kill me. Good game. GG's. I think if we were on the play, we would have won that. But we were on the draw. Because, you know, like, their turn three, they played that 4-4 four, four flyer. If if I had the turn three first, I would have been able to Frilled Mystic the 4-4 four, four flyer. And I, I think we would have won that. And then they would not have been able to flip the Legion's Landing. Would have been a lot different. <laughs> oh, it's just till tomorrow, Storm. Not, not, a big, not a big deal. Hey, what's up, Joe? Yeah. Yeah, new cards. Yep. We'll be doing that tomorrow. Um, I'm not sure how many packs we're going to be opening. I guess you know, we'll have the 50 from the pre-order. Then I think I'm at like about another 60. We can check that out after this. Uh, let's keep. Hmm. Yeah, Nyx Lotus. Is that the name of the card? That could be a card that I'm underrating. All right, unfortunately, we got we got double essence scatter hand against two blue lands. Probably isn't great. Hey, Vitalius, the games are going good. I think I'm just gonna let them have Narset, and then I'm just gonna borrow or kill it instead of using my spell Pierce right now. Alright, I don't know what's going on. We will not fail. Be wary of the ground Okay. Whatever was going on, they couldn't handle Nissa. <laughs> okay. Um so there we go, went 6-1. How are we doing? So we got 53 rare wild cards and 10 mythic wild cards for tomorrow. That should be a lot of wild cards. But yeah, so 6-1 with, with Simic Flash, and I think that one that we lost, we probably would have won if we were on the play. I think Simic Flash is just a just a good deck, even in Historic. Uh, we didn't get to play Gruul or Esper, the two the two big decks of the format. We didn't uh, see either of those in, in best of one there. I was expecting a good amount of Gruul, to be honest. Um, that's something to, to look for. Like I said at the beginning of the video, I'll say it again here, that I think maybe for best of three, I'd maybe just play one Aethergust main, putting the other in the board, and then putting the second negate back in the main. But maybe not, because Gruul is really, really, uh, is, is, is a really big uh highly played deck there we go it's a really highly played deck there we go those are some words and if that's the case if you keep it like that then the negate in the sideboard could be like a ceratops or like something else the maybe for for esper but i i like i like the search for us can sideboard plan of bringing in you know bringing in negate spell pierce disputes bringing in a whole bunch of counter spells and then um, as Kanta as well to pair along with them and kind of go like a bunch of counter spells, Nissas, and then ambushers, frilled mystics, and Krasis. Like I'd probably cut land war elf because you probably have to. I mean, so that's like two scatter, the three land war elf, probably the dive down, the ether gust. So that's four, five, six, seven, eight, and bring in one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, perfect. 
Oh, but I want to bring in the other Krasis, though, also. So maybe something instead of the Krasis. Like, maybe take out one of these. Uh, like, not, you never take out Frilled Mystic, but maybe take out an Ambusher for a Krasis. Or a Brazen Borrower for a Krasis. Probably Ambusher. No, probably, maybe Borrower. I don't know. Take out one of those. Probably a uh, Ambusher. Okay. Um, so there we go. There's um, Simic Flash in a best of one. But like I said, you can play this in best of one or best of three in the events that start tomorrow for Historic. But that's it here for Simic Flash. All right, we're going to move on to Esper Affinity and Soul Tide Treachery, a couple of pretty sweet decks. Hope you all check those out also if you're watching on YouTube. Um, and, of course, don't forget to leave those comments down below. Like, what are you really excited about with Theros? All that kind of stuff. Um, hit that like button. And if you try out this deck also, let me know how it goes for you in Historic. How is uh, Flash treating you over there? All right, but that's it here for Simic Flash. So thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.